G'day everybody and welcome to this next video on living with butter extrophy and this one is to do with forming a bond with your urologist now this is a very important thing that probably people might not want to hear but you've got to look at it this way we form a bond with our GP and we need to, you know, explain everything to your GP and all that. We need to form a bond with our urologist is exactly the same thing. And um, why am I saying this? Because the urologist is going to be mostly part of your life and you'll need to form a bond that is going to be an everlasting bond and um, it will help you out as much as it can and it's going to help the urologist um, they are going to be part of your life and the um, and that is something that's going to be very important with your outcome in life um, having a bond with the urologist means a lot and it helps a lot you know you get to know them better and they get to know you better and once you form a bond with your urologist things will be a lot easier um, not gonna be it's still gonna be a very hard journey but it will lighten the load just a little bit the urologist is there to help emotionally and physically and um, that's their role and you explain try and explain everything to them what's going on with your urological health because that is so so important with bladder extrophy we need to explain everything to them what's going on in life and you know without explaining everything and something might come up and you don't tell them it's just gonna make things a lot harder in the future you know so just try and focus on that bond that you will need with your urologist having that bond will relate to other staff and other fields that may have to be looking after you and once that bond is formed communication with other fields is going to make life a lot easier and just that caring aspect of the men of the medical stuff will be so much easier you know life can be hard and if you let them know that you are struggling your urologist cares and they will try and help as much as they can and if it's mental problems the urologist has a handful of different avenues that they can pick to help you out with and then you can go to your GP and explain that your urologist is going to help and the GP will be on board um, just just remember that there is a lot of network help out there once you ask your urologist where to go they are so happy to help and you know forming that bond with that care team will make your journey so much easier for an instant for me my urologist he is amazing you know I've known him almost my whole life so far he started working on me when I was about a couple of years old when I was a young boy and I've still got him in my life now and the bond that we have formed is fantastic so you just focus on all the positives that can come out of having a good relationship with your urologist because things are easier he he or she can figure things out quicker 
because they know your condition. Each person is going to be different. That's why they tailor everything differently to each person. And having a good bond with your urologist makes that so much easier for them to focus on what you need and how it will make life more easier. It doesn't mean it's going to go away fully to make it easy, but it's still going to be hard. And I know what that's like. It's hard for me as well. And focusing on my urological care is hard, but that's where my urologist can put me back on track and help me focus back what I need to do. You know, I try and ask my GP and there's only so much a GP can do. And same with a urologist. But once they know you are struggling, they can focus on helping you in that department. You know, medically, it's hard. And I feel the pain of other people. And I'm struggling as much as they are struggling. But the struggle can be made easier if you communicate with your urologist. For those who don't have a regular urologist, please, if you can, try and find someone because that bond does really help and it makes it a lot more easier for what is going on. You know, we try so hard to do the right things but sometimes those things don't happen and you feel like you let your medical staff down but you're not honestly it's a struggle for all of us and to focus on what we need to focus on it is hard you know parents now hopefully you have a urologist for your child already and it's good to try and build that bond early with the urologist because having a child bonding with a urologist will make the, their journey just a little bit easier because then they can focus on other aspects of life like growing up, going to school, focusing on every milestone and with bladder extrophy, sometimes it's hard to focus on the happy milestones that happen in life. And when you have a very caring urologist in the pediatric field, sometimes it's they can bond so easily with the child. And to get that to get that bond started is brilliant. Parents, please. Get a bond with your child's urologist as well. Ask questions and the urologist will be happy to help. You know, once you've built that bond, that makes it a little, just that little bit easier to focus on everything. And then the questions and answers will be just a little bit easier to come out and to be answered. You know, having that root that bond does make life so much easier to help care for that child and you know just try and focus on that bond you know when being in hospital that bond helps with bedside manner and if your urologist has the best bedside manner that is brilliant because that will help you mentally and physically you know that bedside manner from the urologist helps and having staff around that as well can help the healing process just that so much easier when we know that team and we start to build a bond with the team as well that will make life just so much easier they care and they care and if you need to form a bond they would love that bond you know the bond that happens with being 
there is brilliant. Having all these medical problems that people face, it's hard and we need to make bonds with our specialists and our GPs, but I know that is hard and it may take a while to find someone that you can bond with, but it's, it's worth finding that weight and finding someone. Having a bond, also having a GP that can bond with your urologist is brilliant because then once you tell them what's going on, the communication between your GP and your urologist will just click and reports and tests can go so much smoother because of that bond that they have formed and it makes everything so much clearer with communication you know we try every time to not communicate but we need to start communicating with our medical staff to build that bond and to make sure that the bond sticks like glue you know we as patients it's hard and I know and as parents it's hard and that's I know that as well so we just need to try and focus on having a bond keeping that bond together and making it just an easier journey you know just it's a hard journey I know and some people are struggling with it so badly and there needs to be a lot more help out there but trying to find that help is hard I'm on that journey right now and trying to find the help that I need it's hard and trying to find something someone that specializes in trauma that is so hard I've been working my butt off trying to find something but it's just so hard um, you know my, I'm just so grateful that my urologist started off my mental health help journey he started it off with making me start seeing a psychiatrist then that led to seeing a psychologist back in the day I need to find a psychologist again but trying to find someone that specialises in trauma after what happened to me during my life as a child it's been hard and trying to open up about that has been super hard but because I formed a bond with my urologist and heard he heard my cry he helped my cry by finding someone for me to start that journey of healing mentally um, he could see that I was struggling he could tell that the bladder extrophy side of things have caused me a bit of grief a bit of pain a bit of struggle and he wanted to help because that we formed that bond that help was a lot easier for him to write a letter and tell me of a psychiatrist that he knew that could help and now that I'm medicated for that it's helped a bit but it's still not the answer to the life's questions of medical stuff and why things happen but that bond has really helped me and if you can form a bond with your medical staff it is going to help that journey just so much easier uh, so much easier to focus on all that needs to be done and when we can find that bond find that help and it's easier then you can have some of your weight lifted off your shoulders and say hey I feel a lot better thank you for helping they are so grateful to be out there to help you as well not just because of your physical health health yes a lot of it's to do with your physical but a lot of it's also mental health and a lot of the bladder extrophy places that specializes in that already forms out forms a psychological help as well and 
more places need to try and do that. I know it's hard and we got to try and educate a little bit more to places that don't have the right education and that's why we rely on websites like the Association of Butter Extra Fee. That is one of the best sources that can help people who are looking for help, who are looking for the, trying to find the information that they need out there. And then once you can find what you're looking for, find a urologist, then you can start making that bond. Because if you don't form a bond and you just go into your urologist and out and don't talk or anything it doesn't help your mental side of things and we need to try and educate people that the bladder extra fee thing does form mental problems with some people and those people that do struggle struggle hard and I'm in that boat you know other people that have bladder extra fee some of them don't have mental issues from it and that's great it's good to hear that there are strong people out there that can take the bull by the horns and leap forward do and some are very very highly educated did very well at school and I take my hat off to those that went to school and did very well in education I didn't do well at school at all and I haven't done anything in my career wise as I haven't done well at all and I'm stuck in retail. Um, it's a job but not my dream job but I get paid, it helps pay my bills and I'm happy in that regard. I'm not happy though with the way my mental health has taken over everything and it's taken over my bladder health. That's where my bond with my urologist comes in and he cares about me. He's getting very worried about my health. So my story is please try and find a bond with your urologist and make sure that you communicate what is going on in your life to them. It's hard and it's hard to open up even if you write a letter and let them read the letter or have a friend come with you who you trust can explain everything you know having a friend with mental, mental, medical problems as well who can understand what you're struggling with is brilliant you know I don't have many friends in my life at all but I do have several that I have formed with the bladder extra fee groups and have helped me so much in my life and I try and give back but I don't know how to do that that's why I'm making these videos um, I know they're probably not helping people but one day they will and the views on these will get higher and higher the more I produce more of these bladder extra fee videos trying to help people I'm hoping that these reach doctors worldwide and they can start using my content to help patients and family members, children, adults, anybody that's got blood or extra fee because I want to try and do my part in helping people. They so people help me, I want to give back. I want to give back to the nursing staff that helped me through my life because that is one thing I've always wanted to do with nursing but it has never played out because my education and making these videos I want to make sure that everybody feels welcome and feels comfortable explaining everything there are people that are gonna not listen to what I say but that's okay my bottom line is please just follow your instructions from your GP or your urologist if they say you need to catheterize every so whatever hours do it it's for your own benefit you know yes it's an interruption and it interrupts your life but 
I'd rather do that than not have a catheter at all and be wet. You know, there are people that have struggled with that all their lives. I'm one of them. And having that bond with your urologist will make it so much easier and so much caring. They do care about you. They know the pain that sometimes you're going through and just stay strong. Try to stay strong and just try and believe in yourself. Don't fall back on negativity in your life like I have. It has dragged me down so much and we've got to stop believing in the negative thoughts and start believing in the positivity that's out in that world. We are all strong survivors and we can do a lot to this community, you know. We need to help each other, help everybody else, help ourselves and call out for help if you need the help. There is help out there and I can prove that there is people that do care. The urologists care as well and they will try their best to help you out as much as you can. So just listen to what they say to you. Listen and then if you have anything they will listen back. They are human beings that do care. They care a lot about you and so does your family, your friends, they care. Everybody cares. If you're struggling, reach out. There's always help around the corner. Just keep focusing, focusing, focusing. Build that relationship with the urology team. Build a relationship with the hospital you go to. Make sure that there is help that you can receive from the hospital system. Make sure that you can focus on all that is going on. And call out. I've been calling out for ages. And I just, I've been silently crying out. And the last few days, just I've broken silence. And I've called out and people have heard it's hard and I know it's difficult we we'll sometimes live in a world of silence which I do and just try and not to be negative and stay positive that's why I've got my bond with my urologist he will look after me and I know that he is the best person on this earth and without him I think everything would have just gone way below and that's why I keep going there are days that I don't want to go but I go and see him and he does get concerned about me which is another thing why you've got to have a bond they care and I've been having a lot of UTIs and he's been getting very concerned about them and he understands that it's when it comes down to your mental problems you lose your way and he's trying to help me find my way back which is brilliant I love that and I'm so grateful for him I'm so grateful for my family I'm so grateful for my the community around the bladder extrophy. I'm so grateful for a few friends that I do have. I'm so grateful for the bladder extrophy friends that I've made. I am grateful that we can form a bond with our medical team. I am grateful that we can try and help people and the world needs this help the bladder extrophy community in the world there are people that 
are struggling and that are finding it difficult just remember there is help there's always help always always help so just focus on all of that make sure that you can focus 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 okay guys I'll sign off now I'm gonna edit and upload and hopefully I can help some more people in this world you guys are the best keep on surviving and until the next video goodbye guys